Now, why is this important? Well, it's important because if you have your design and layout of your website, you want to know how your users are getting from point A, let's say your home page, to point C, which could be a contact form. So you want to know how users are going from that first individual start on your page all the way through the entire site or to a point on your site you want them to get to. Now if you look at the screenshot below, as you can see, it's a little bit small, but the source and medium. Now this is a drop down that you can change to see the data that you want to see which users are coming from different places. You can look by country, you can look by source and medium. So as you can see, the first grouping, which is the largest grouping of this segment, is from Google and organic. And then as you follow the lines, it will show you where on the site they went to from the start to the next piece. Now where do you find your flow? Well, under standard reporting, you have all your tabs down the left-hand side in your menu. Under the audience tab, you go down to the bottom and you'll see your visitors flow. Once again, if you go down your menu to conversions, under your goals, you'll have your goal flow. And if you go down to content and go under events, you will get your event flow. Now, let's go over visit flow. This shows how the paths and through the site of how your visitors go ahead and start. So if we look, this screenshot is based on country and territory. So it shows that we have users that came in from the US, they went to the home page with the largest amount of traffic, then we went to a blog and then a different blog, and then if you go all the way to the bottom, a large segment goes to other pages. But you can see past the home page, where did they go? And after that, they went from the home page, they went to a blog, they went back to the home page, they went to another site. So what you can discern from this is that users are going from the home page to another page and maybe back to the home page to continue their searches or to find something different on your site. Well, maybe that means you need to update a menu or you need to change where you have things laid out in that menu so that way you don't have users going from home page into your site back to the home page. As you can see, we have another screenshot of the site flow. But in the site flow, you can see that the, we've dropped down a window for the segments. As you can see, we have all visitors, new visitors returning all the way through any of your segments. This is important because you can actually go through, look at how your returning visitors use your site, and see how they flow through the site. And it can help you with your new visitors who might get to your point C a little different way than your returning visitors who know their way through your site. So you can take a look and say, well, my returning visitors are getting to this goal, are getting to this event, going this path. Maybe I need to go ahead and take a look at my design or my menu system and fix it so my new visitors are getting to the same point in the same amount of time as my returning visitors. So besides the segment, you can also set your label, action, or category so you can even narrow down what you're really looking for. Now with your event flow, it's going to show the path your users took to complete your event, such as watching a video, downloading a PDF, signing up for a newsletter. Whatever event that you have coded on your site, this is how they would get to that event. If you see that it's taking five, six, seven interactions, or maybe even three to download a very important PDF or watch a very important video, maybe you'd like to move that event to a page closer or even on the home page. You can actually segment each portion of the flow. Once you click on the bands, you'll get highlight traffic, view only this segment, so you can see how the users are going from point A to point B and then you can also group your details. 
Now, with the, we, we have another screenshot of your events flow. But as you can notice, with an event flow, you can change your drop-down and segment by your visitors, by your traffic sources, which means you can pull up your keywords and see by what keyword how that keyword is pushing people through your site and through your event. So you can decide which keywords are actually helping you and your site and how those users are getting to finish your event. So then you can decide, well, this keyword is not helping with this event or this keyword is really helping with this event and you might want to focus on that keyword. Now with goal flow, this is how people went through your site to complete your goals. Whether your goal is an e-commerce goal, sign up for a newsletter, or to fill out a contact form. Another good point is this, you can actually see where your user dropped out before they complete your goal. So you can make a decision, well, is this goal path too long? Now we chose a goal which was a little bit shorter that shows visits longer than three minutes. Our Google users came in at 552 and then they were able to stay. Now if you choose a different goal that has a longer path versus a one-time use, like this is longer than three minutes, you'll be able to see that the flow goes a little longer and then you can decide, well, you know what? I think my path for them to sign up my, onto my form is too long or maybe your checkout process for your e-commerce is too long. If you make it shorter, you might have more conversion. If you would like more information on this topic, please call us at 561-620-9682 or email us at info at morevisibility.com.